Welcome to the Rig and Farm YouTube channel. We have a lot going on in this relatively short vlog. We'll show you our thriving rabbit business, progress in the garden, how our baby chicks survived outside with freezing temperatures, how much more destructive the pigs have been, our pest problem and how we're going to control it, an update on our tractor, and a few products we've made here at the farm. Mary's and Poe's babies will be ready to leave their mamas just a few days after this video is shot. We've already pre-sold one bunny from each litter. Madeline's babies still need a few more weeks with her before they can find a new home. These bunnies have gotten a lot of interest in the ads we've posted, so selling them hasn't been as difficult as we thought it would be. One bunny sold per month will pay for the feed and hay for the whole operation, so each additional bunny will be pure profit. These little boys and girls are too darn cute. Ashley and I were able to install more drip tape for our irrigation system as well as several pieces of weed fabric. This garden will have 24 garden beds that are 4 feet wide and between 40 and 55 feet long. There's also a 20 inch walkway between each bed. Remember what happened in our last vlog when we used a canopy in an attempt to keep the baby chicks dry? This happened just 3 days after the storm. Luckily we had a spare. We were expecting the temperature to drop down to 15 degrees, so we used these blankets to keep the heat in for the chicks. The next day we checked on them and they were actually a little too warm and kept some distance from the heat lamp. We were so happy to see them unaffected by the weather. The pigs broke their water system in our last vlog, and this week they moved their food dishes into the woods. This one was only about 20 feet away from where we feed them, but this one was much further away, about 75 feet into the woods. The pigs uprooted this tree and then it fell onto the electric fence. We spotted a rodent at the pig shelter, but it ran away before we could get a better look. Luckily, Vin and Ellen will protect the farm from those pesky pests. Ellen was severely underweight when we got him, but he's almost doubled his weight and is more energetic now. He loves to play with us and his sister. These two are always wanting to get in our laps for snuggles or to use us for a wrestling ring. Clearly, this is snuggle time. We absolutely adore our kittens. Our new grass survived a few days of freezing temperatures, and hopefully it'll continue to grow and spread as it heats up for the next several months. Last month I tipped the tractor and almost died. I'm fine, but the tractor was considered a total loss. The insurance company paid it off and we'll be shopping for a new tractor this week. Hopefully we'll have it in our next vlog. We used our Cricut Maker to cut out a new design onto this green iron-on vinyl. Can you make out what it is yet? Here is the finished product! Head over to our online shop at www.rigandfarm.com to order yours today! We also played Mad Scientist this week and made soap. We are using a variety of oils in our blend. After they were melted and combined, we added a mixture of water and lye and began to blend it together. It only takes about 30 seconds to emulsify and begin saponification. I got super excited for my first batch of soap and eagerly poured in my colors to make a totally rad swirl pattern, but I forgot to add the fragrance first and had to blend it all together into a nasty mess of a color. Yeah, not my best moment. My second one turned out a little better. Thankfully, Ashley's two soaps are much prettier than mine. Two days later, it was time to unmold and slice the soap into individual bars. This was a plastic mold, so we used wax paper to prevent the soap from sticking. We used a ruler to measure where each slice was going to be made. We marked both sides to ensure even slices. The soap is somewhat soft, but it still holds its shape at this stage. That's pretty! Each bar was placed on a parchment paper lined baking sheet where it will stay for the next 4 weeks while it cures. The end pieces were cut into small strips that we'll use for samples. Skipping the curing step will result in a bar that is too soft and it won't hold its shape when used. Make sure you check out our online store in about a month to purchase a few bars. Here are the 4 soaps we made. We have Meatloaf. Masculine notes of vanilla, tobacco, and bay rum. REM invigorating bouquets of rosemary, eucalyptus, and mint. Candy Stripe, 
feminine wisps of rose, jasmine, coriander, peach, and orange. And the first rule, refreshing aromas of citrus and herbs. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.